Welcome back! In our last video, we had a bit of fun taking out uh, another city and defeating General Karatus again. And that was the end of that turn. Now we're up to having another son! It's amazing how the king and the queen are never in the same area, but she continues to have his children. Ah. Yes, well, it's a girl, so... Asneria. Asneri? Uh, no. Emer? No. It sounds like some small animal or disease. Uh, Mira Tige? No. Erasen? No. Wow, some of these names are just really not very good. Agweni. I, that I can... I'd buy. That one was not a bad name. Alright, so we're going to cheat. Not really, but we're going to actually have the king go there. And what we had mentioned was the king using the village as part of his travels. Because moving through and exiting out one of the borders allows you to do it for free movement. So that gives us a little bit further to travel. And we can go another three squares out. And let's see what's out here. As it is, it seems like uh, I can't tell you. There's just so much going on. And let's keep sending our really, really slow guy with us. And send the queen off this way. And I would really like to be able to generate some defenses. Again, we just don't have the materials yet to build that great soldier. But in the meantime, let's build a caravan. And redesign uh, some decent soldiers. So let's go with a new design for soldiers. Starting with weapons. Again, let's go with a spear. The material cost is relatively weak or small. Uh, again, the cost is still materials and gold. So we're going to go with a spear. It's a little bit cheaper. Armor seems to make it a little bit easier. Cost is um, definitely more up our alley. And we have more metal than we do other gear, so material. So it's just going to make sense for us to build a defender. 8 versus 2 or just the cost of that. So I think we're going to go with the arm plates because they seem to be uh, sharing this similar thing. And then it's just a matter of the helmet. It's going to cost us a little bit more, less materials, and more metal. We have the metal right now. We're doing good there. So, it's just a matter of adding a cloak. And depending on how much the cloak costs itself, they all seem to be a little bit more expensive than I'd prefer. Um, and I want to make sure that these are slightly economical as far as this all goes. So, we'll just add a cloak or a cape over these soldiers. Less attack, higher defense. That's a good thing. And we will save it and call it an auxiliary soldier. I shall make our city safe, he says. And he will, while wearing a smart and snappy coat. Yay for us. Now, can we build some? Why, look at that. We can. And we're going to. We need defenders. So, and ironically, if that's accurate, he's got a move of 10. I don't really believe it, but... Alright, let's uh, train one of those, because we can afford it. Alright, next! Hello, King! Watch the world become part of our view. See that there's trees and hills, so obviously we want to avoid that. And we want to take advantage of these things here as soon as we can get our hands on them. Uh, to keep sending him this way. To have him come join the village down there. And this one still seems to be doing okay, so let's see if we can build any defenders here. Um... There just seems to be no great value, so we'll just train a caravan. 
again, if they take our cities, there's not much we can do, so. And find the queen. Zoom out, see that there's trees all up through here. So, us moving this way, and hopefully into here, will be a little bit more efficient. Uh, again, we, there's no way we're taking a slag, but... Uh, swamp Bandit Shelter, we might be able to move along and into, so... Wish us luck. And eventually, the king will uh, see his wife once again. Another ring! Let's see how many rings we can actually wear. Cool. We can uh, wear three of them. No current advantage to that one, but obviously once it's fine-tuned, we'll get something neat out of it. Great. Another spear. Uh, that's the king's movement. Coming on down. Let's see. What does Joffrey do? Besides run slowly. No? Okay. That's Joffrey's actions. We do want to send the queen here. I think we're going to have to uh, find a way to kind of move here and here in the same round. And then here and then here. Wish us luck. Uh, that's that turn. And the queen, so let's see if it lets us go here and then here. Hey, we got lucky. It did let us do it. And for our king, well, that golem moving there is just not really helping. Uh, so let's just walk over this way to explore and reveal the fog of war. Let's see where the golem goes next. Let's hope the queen doesn't die here out in the midst of the wild. Let's pick up uh, crystal mining. Don't know what we're going to get out of it, but civilization hopefully will impart its... Whoa, that's a giant up there. Probably a bone ogre. Great, a map to a place... Oh no, it's a troll. It's got a combat of 28, and our princess, or queen, has a 16. I guess we're not going to be exploring up this part. So that leaves her with two movements. Maybe she can slink past. As it is, our king... will likely get defeated by this creature. But, we won't know for a while. So, let's see what happens when we go here. Let's see if it pays off. A potion for healing. I guess they've anticipated him getting an ass whooping. I sure feel it coming on. Alright, in our next video, we'll see what happens with uh, the entire package.